Hey Vintage Dolls, it's Emmeline. So today I am going to test out some pinup girl workout routines. These are actually from around the 40s and 50s. So I'm really excited to try these out. When I was younger, I was super obsessed with pinup girls. And I remember I tried um, a pinup girl workout routine and I loved it. So I thought it'd be really fun to test them out today. Some of the moves are a little funky. So we're gonna see how this goes. And if you guys decide to try this out, then let me know and let me know how it goes. I hope you guys are excited to watch this and let's get into the video. I went on Google and I just typed in pinup girl workout routines and I found a bunch. So we're just gonna go through that. The first one we're gonna do is it says, now let's take a little high kicking. Take it very slow at first, but try to kick higher each day practicing this exercise. So basically, if you guys can see right here. So if you guys can see this girl, um, they said to just take your high kick slow and to practice it every single day until you can keep kicking higher and higher. So it says, extend your arm straight out from the sides. Now rotate your body. Okay, so let's try it. This shouldn't be too hard, but I haven't done any like kicks or anything since I did cheerleading, so I think it's gonna be kind of difficult for me. Yeah, look at, my knee is so bent. Okay, let's do it to the other side. I actually do feel that in my sides. Hmm. I actually really like this one. All right, so this is the next one. It says, extend your arms straight out from your sides. Now rotate your body by swinging the arms around as far as they will go. The rising on your toes, stop when you are slightly tired. What? Extend your arms straight out from side to side. Rotate your body by swinging. So, is that what they mean? Wait, is this what they mean, like that? Wait, but it says on your toes. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I think what you are trying to focus on is like not falling over when you do it, because I'm like losing my balance a lot. I'm just trying to like be really stiff. I don't know if I'm doing it right, or I don't know if I'm supposed to be like this. I feel like this, because this like, it like works your hips, like when you turn them, you know what I mean? Your waistline. I still think that was right. All right, let's try these ones. These ones look, really scary <laughs> like the figures that are drawn like just look really creepy but this is the one we're gonna try it says kneel um okay i really can't read it but i can see what she's doing so basically um she's kneeling and then she's going back and forward so let's try this all right so for this one you are on your knees like this and so basically what it looks like, oh wait, hold on, this is, wait, what? It's confusing, maybe like this? Oh, I can't do that. Wait, hold on, go like this. Oh my gosh, that's hard. And the girl in the picture, the girl in the picture is literally like this. Oh, that is so hard. I feel like, so basically like in the picture, she is like above. It's not like she's like flat, like going like that, which is even hard to do, but she's like kind of up and her body though is like all the way back here. And then she comes up straight. I feel like that's not even realistic. So that one was a complete fail. <laughs> the next one is for shapely hips. Ooh, okay. So it says, <laughs> these little sayings, things are so funny, okay. So, Basically, she's on her back and kicking. I used to do this when I was younger just for fun. So, just lie flat on the floor on your back, hands supporting your waist and legs, held high, straight as possible. Now, in this position, go through the familiar motions of riding a bicycle. Okay. We can do this. Wilbur like just ran into his crate because he's scared. All right, so we're going up. I feel like, this is, what is this for? So this is for your hips, but like, honestly, I don't really feel like, I feel it in my hips as much as I feel it like in my upper thigh. Wait, hold on, did you guys, <laughs> did you guys ever do this when you were little? Hold on. Where you would like balance on your arms. Can I still do this? <laughs> the next two from this list, these are the last two from this list, and I'm gonna try um, the bust one. I'm gonna do this one. And then this one. You sit like this, and then you just go backwards. 
and then you go up. So you just keep going backwards and up. All right, the next one is, I feel like this is like good for your waist. So basically, you're like this, and then you just go to each side of your knee. I feel it for sure, because I haven't stretched like this in a while. Like, I feel like I use different muscles when I'm at the gym than like this stuff. So I definitely feel it pulling on my muscles. So the last two exercises we're gonna try are the first one is exercises for a thin neck, and then I'm gonna do the bust exercises. So, oh, it's so hot. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Recommended for a thin neck or a double chin. These exercises should be done 10 to 15 times each day, once a day. Okay, basically all you do is go like this 10 to 15 times. Okay, and then the next one, you just go like this again, 10 to 15 times. Okay, does my neck look thinner? I don't think so. Okay, I have to read this to you guys. It says, the female bosom has always been a symbol of health and beauty. The shape, size, firmness, erectness of the breast also their relation to the size and contour of the body are all taken into account when a woman is appraised for her charm by strengthening the supporting muscles exercise can cause the breast to be held more erectly and carried more proudly thus greatly enchanting the entire personality a really good breast you guys our personality is going to be 10 times better apparently Properly made use of brassieres can greatly improve the appearance of breasts and at the same time provide needed support. I love that they used to call bras brassieres. All right, so this is the first one that we are going to do. And once again, I just found these all on Google. I just searched up um, like pinup routine and like this is just what came up. All right, so clasp hands firmly as shown above, then try to draw them apart so the breast muscle becomes tense. Hold to the count of three, relax and repeat. So it's kind of hard to see how her hands are clasped. I think they're like this. So it says, clasp hands firmly as shown above to try to draw them apart. So like you're pulling them apart. So the breast muscles become tense. My breast muscles are very tense. <laughs> Hold to the count of three, relax and repeat. I feel like, I mean, I could be doing it wrong, but basically what I'm, I think you do is like you clasp like this and it's like you're like pulling each side then you're relaxing it more like in my upper arms than in my breast area so i'm not a fan of that one so the next one is take position shown below here's the position um lower the wand ruler or broomstick to abdominal position tense the arms breast muscle then raise slowly back to the head endeavoring to touch the floor with the back of hands Hold, count to three. So, what the heck can I use? What do I have? Let me go get something. I found my ladybug umbrella that everybody makes fun of me for. Um, so we're gonna do this. All right, so we lie down. This is actually a really nice stretch. Like I feel like I'm stretching my whole body right now so much. Oh wait, just right here. This is a really nice stretch for the arms. I like this. The last bust exercise. This one, once again, is like the same thing, oops, as this one. It's just like a different position. So basically, um, by the way, I feel like people are gonna tell me I should have worn like vintage workout clothes. And I tried really hard to find stuff, but I'm leaving for vacation for a week and I had tons of videos to pre-film and stuff and I just didn't have time to go look for something. So if you guys want a part two of this, I will totally try to find some vintage workout attire for the video. Is take your hands in the clasping position again and you just like pull apart until you feel it tense. 
But once again, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but I just feel it in my arms. Like I don't feel it in my bust at all. Like it actually like really hurts. <laughs> I don't like that one at all. But that is the end of this video. If you guys want a part two and want me to actually try um, some vintage workout clothes on with it, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys have any video requests that you want to see, then just be sure to let me know and leave them in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!